this is book. Today I want to make a review about Lubuntu. I never did it before. You know, to me, Mint Linux was always the number one Linux distribution that, you know, I really liked and that I really understood. And I could really, you know, change it around to look like a Windows machine, to look like a Mac. And in fact, <laughs> I did uh, a little changing uh, on this uh, desktop because normally, of course, it does not come this way. I made a kind of run uh, Lubuntu Linux from this day with the I call this the run, the run desktop. And um, well, I changed uh, just a little bit around and added uh, cool apps that I thought, you know. I could really use. I'm doing this on a dual core laptop and well in fact it does not look this way. If you get it it looks uh, kind of different but I will show that soon to you. Um, I changed the orb here and the orb also rep is represented here as the file manager so we can get into as you can see I have a lot of uh, kind of pictures and icons that I'm using around you know designing the thing I made a very beautiful Mac as well of this uh, and that in some easy steps I will also show that to you this is a very powerful operating system why well I was looking for uh, OS to install on my Pentium 3 that I still had lying around I had a very old one with 256 megabyte RAM and I just didn't want to install Windows uh, XP or Windows 2000 on it and that uh, also was very uh, difficult because it's the Fujitsu Simons the B series and it has a special uh, driver for the touch so if you don't have the right installer for uh, the right boot CD for for the thing if you don't boot from you cannot for instance remove the hard drive and install XP on it and then pop in the drive again you will get the blue screen of that you see so the only choice I had was left over was Linux and you know I went looking around and I found uh, Lubuntu and I was like Lubuntu it must be like Ubuntu you know I'm not a big fan of Ubuntu that while you know everything most of the operating systems are you know built from out Ubuntu so I, I I cannot talk this way but Ubuntu always gives me you know broken packages and then this is not good and that is not good and then you know I find that the latest version wants to look like Android I don't like it so much anymore I loved uh, Ubuntu 10 um, a lot but in fact you cannot hate the uh, you cannot love the fruits and then hate the root so the root of this is Ubuntu so we're gonna say this is Ubuntu that while uh, Lubuntu modified it just like how I modified this desktop of Ubuntu again of Lubuntu <laughs> oh gosh anyway this is version 15 peeps and uh, yeah let's let's do some checking uh, first of all we can go to the system tools here and <clears throat> I'm gonna go to the system profiler so you can have an idea what kind of computer this is and you can see it's pretty fast uh, we have uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM 1991 megabyte and 450 is used uh, operating system here you see it uh, Ubuntu 15 uh, it doesn't say Lubuntu but it says Ubuntu but this is the Lubuntu dist distribution of, of uh, yeah this is the latest is the version 15 here you can see it uh, operating system Ubuntu boop, 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 boop. on the one da, 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 da. desktop environment LXDE Lubuntu see that so I installed 10 on uh, or what was it version 12 I think I installed on uh, on this old laptop and it runs fantastic there's still a review coming up from that so you must you know um, keep me to that for now um, but this is it uh, here you can see the processors you see everything is represented in here 
this is a very very lovely lovely operating system especially if you understand what you can do and how you can change it around I didn't use any team everything that you see here I just set it up uh, manual manual you know didn't use anything like you know whatever downloads to change it you know everything was done from out this system so what do we have for instance we have uh, cheese cheese is for the webcam the built-in webcam hey hello there you are so um, yeah you can see that we can make a picture if you press picture you will get one two three two. you see I'm gonna save a little bit. I'm gonna close the cam. So, um, yeah, here you can see that uh, I also installed UNET Bootin. UNET Bootin is to create bootable uh, Linux distributions, uh, USB sticks. Installed the ALSA meter. Installed Project X. Project X, I never looked at it yet. It's a video editor. And uh, of course, we must agree. And this is how it looks. I really don't know how it works yet uh, I will have to see if I understand it otherwise I will just import the video into my phone or my Mac or my Windows computer and then do it from there um, we're recording but you can see we have a lot of uh, memory left that looks really nice to me I find and um, yeah you can also of course install Skype here is Skype working version of Skype and uh, XBMC XBMC will let us watch uh, all sorts of videos you will have to add re a repository to the system as you will see I have uh, here if I go to video add-ons you will see that I have some video add-ons here and uh, well in fact uh, they all work fine but I had to add them so if you don't know how to do that I will uh, advise you to check out you see this is live TV I'm just gonna stop it cause the only problems with my copyright means and rubbish so here we gonna try another one So this is also a fantastic media center. See that? The motion motion is very good. Everything is fantastic uh, about Lubuntu, Lubuntu 15. And uh, I just advise it to everyone. Of course, you can make it however you want. And changing this around is really easy you only uh, need an icon so if you have an idea how you want to change it around and how you want to let it look you know soon we also gonna do uh, changing the boot logo and uh, give it our own boot logo our own company boot logo you know sometimes companies they just want that and they don't want to go and re-event the wheel but uh, yeah Lubuntu and these kinds of distributions they give the possibility to the user to do that easy without using any app I think every operating system can take a uh, yeah, example out of that but yeah then others want to keep their identity I all understand that peeps you're all cool that's why we have Linux in Linux we can change it all around and the makers uh, yeah they don't mind if you change it around they want you to change it around otherwise they would not put uh, make it so easy for you to change it around for instance if we want to make an apple of this thing yeah then we just go to menu settings here and then we browse and uh, let me see uh, let's give it a nice colored apple Hoppa, you see that so now we have an apple or beautiful ain't it what did you say the black the, the, the normal one of course we have that what do you think? Here, boom. You see that? And this one even turns blue if you touch it. Of course, this we can also the home screen uh, file manager. We just go to edit here, and um, yeah, we can just look for another icon. 
I saw some nice icons here. Um, let me see which one it was. Ding, 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 ding. This one is cool. Or we had in home, I have a lot. In, in, in there. This one. Dang. Boom. You see that? And then I just hit apply. And then, dang. You see that? Now this thing is an apple. Well, it's not an apple, of course, but uh, it looks like an apple. You see that? And everything we can change around. You know, if I want to make some home folder of this thing, some, some, uh, applications menu if I go there to edit you know I can also say hey I want I don't like that I want uh, for instance let me see what I have here I for instance want that here you see or this one Oh, that was a screenshot. This one, I want this one. Boom. And I just say apply. You see? So, no, I gifted, yeah, I gifted a special look. You see, this is the Jossimit, uh you can say the Jossimit, uh, um dock with the updated Mac uh, icon and up here we have the applications menu up here we can go to our folders you see that isn't that beautiful and just with some clicks we changed it all around okay so how to get apps and things like that well for apps we have the Lubuntu software center and uh, as you can see it's not so hard eh? accessories in accessories you will find stuff that you know you can use uh, graphics you will find stuff that needs that has to do with graphics in internet of course you will find your internet apps in office you will find your office apps in others you find a terminal app in sound of course you know everything that has to do with your sounds in system tools uh, you will find uh, stuff that belongs to the system such as the Cairo dock this thing here is the Cairo dock and uh, the file manager, manager you will find there, the the DB in, package installer, Lubuntu Som Software Center. You see that? That all you find in here. Unet boot in is in here, <coughs> and that's how it works. In preferences, of course, you can change things around and make it the way you want it to be, etc., etc., etc. So it's not so hard, that peeps. It's really easy up here you can just go ahead and uh, go to the sections that you want to look into or you go to your apps basket after you selected some and just hit install packages log in with your password and the packages will be installed so um, will this run on a Pentium 2 no will it run on a Pentium 3 no will it run on a Pentium 4 yes Pentium 4 and higher will run Lubuntu 15 just fine so um, I have a Pentium 3 and I want to run Lubuntu well then you should go for version 10 or maybe version 12 but higher as version 12 I would not advise you um, also I advise you to have at least 512 megabyte RAM in that Pentium 3 if you want uh, to you know not be having really long waiting hours and times spending behind that little laptop although it's a lot of fun I did it the other day I spent many hours behind that little Pentium 3 doing all sorts of things, pimping it up, giving it this, giving it that, making it beautiful, making it functional, installing apps. And, uh, well, uh, at a certain moment I thought, well, I need a bigger and a stronger laptop for this project. So I uh, killed Windows 10 and uh, installed this. So this is all happening on the Acer uh, e machine the one that you saw running Windows 10 in my previous video and how can you get this well in fact it's not so hard so let's see if we can get it as you can see Firefox uh, icon I should uh, change this back to Firefox because in fact you know I don't like it to be a Safari 
because I'm offending Firefox with it. You understand? So, in fact, if you need icons, let me show you how to find icons. Safari icon. Let's see if we can find a nice one from Safari. No, not Safari. Uh, of course, I meant Firefox. Firefox. Let's see if we can find a nice Firefox uh, icon. I think this one is nice, eh? You don't see it too often. And let me see if we can save it as save image as PNG. That is just fine. Then we go to, we put it in my pictures. Save. And then here in Safari, we go to Firefox web browser and we say edit. And we change that to in my pictures. I should have. Where is it? Yeah. Okami. Okami Firefox. You see? Apply. There you go, baby. You see that? Now we have this beautiful Firefox icon that no one has that only we have and um, we were saying about Lubuntu Lubuntu download there you already go the browser is really really fast everything is fast people um, yeah I'm not trying to sell something that is free So it's up to you uh, if you want to go ahead and test it. I just went for the 1504, this one here. And then, then you can choose out of two types. If you have less than uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, you can go for this one. I always go for this one. And if you have a 64-bit uh, PC with 4 gigabytes or more RAM, you should go for this one. Uh, however, if you know what you're doing, you can also go for the alternate install CD and there you can select what you want to install, but I tried it and it didn't work out for me too good, so I rather go for the desktop versions, you know, and make sure that I choose the right desktop version so I'm not uh, installing something that will run like a, like a turtle on my machine, you know, I want it to run like a rabbit. And until now, even the little Pentium 2, it runs fantastic. So my choice, my first, uh, um, my number one, on this moment, is Lubuntu. And Mint comes to the second place, because Mint, Mint is really beautiful, but Mint does require... Uh, uh, more power of the machine and it won't do things that Lubuntu does you know uh, Lubuntu I think these guys they they really thought of uh, you know them old machines still because if you have an old machine it will work but if you have a fast machine it will work even better you understand that is the policy of how Lubuntu was was created, built, uh, modified, however you want to call it, because it's built on Ubuntu. But here you can get it, so check it out. If you have a Pentium 3, I would go for 12. Because 12 is, uh, well, it's, you can still get some updates, but it, uh, it will tell you that 14 is available, so, you know, um, it just goes up to a point uh, it's not uh, LTS means long time support support uh, Lubuntu has been officially supported uh, for about nine months now I think so you should read uh, here about uh, how and what but this also has the App Store in it also looks outstanding and is an image from I think let me see how much I think it's 688 megabytes, so it does not fit on a 650 megabyte um, um, CD, so you need a bigger one, 
okay you need one from 700 megabyte so what can I show you more about this system um, yeah it was easy changeable you could find uh, everything out of the App Store the Lubuntu Software Center uh, we're recording with uh, the simple screen recorder and that's it peeps well I think the rest you must go out and find out yourself oh yeah we have two desktops so if you're busy on one desktop for instance we go in this desktop uh, on the internet if we go to here then the internet is there you see that so we are here in desktop 2 and uh, by the way today is Father's Day I wish every father uh, uh, a happy Father's Day my father is in heaven so I wish him also a happy Father's Day there and to all of you be a good father to your children so peeps uh, yeah that was it I think uh, more than enough showing around uh, about this system uh, yeah, let's go back to desktop one desktop one two oops beautiful and uh, well let me know what you think and also um, tell me what you think of the customizing if you like this uh, theme what I created this this makeover this this well it's not a makeover this desktop I just changed some little things and added the dock I didn't do too much so you know but it looks fantastic I think it looks way better than how it came but that is my opinion of course and uh, well if you also think so then you must like this video if you don't think so well you don't have to dislike this video but still it was a nice video don't you think I think it's really cool that Lubuntu uh, is so powerful for older computers laptops but also for the new ones and this is the latest thing that you can get from the website so go ahead go get it link will be in the description if you like this video like subscribe and see you in my next video again bye bye